Making statements confidently is the first step to mastering Japanese grammar, and throughout this guided course, you're going to learn all you need in order to quickly acquire this talent. Now, by the end of this series, you will be able to easily say things such as Now, if all of this seems a little bit too basic for you, I want you to realize that in order to gain real confidence in speaking Japanese, you will first need to focus on building a strong foundation, and this series happens to be a great place to start. Let's now begin by learning the vocabulary that you'll need in order to follow along with all the examples provided throughout this course. Now, where is our guide to help us out here? Kore, this, sore, that, are, that, over there. Kohi, coffee, watashi, I for women and a man for a formal situation. Boku, I, men only. Gaikoku jin, foreigner. Now you may have noticed that kore, sore, and are are all quite similar in meaning. However, it is important that you clearly understand the difference between these terms. So take a look at these three now. Each of these terms are separated by distance. For example, kore, meaning this, is used to identify anything within arm's reach or that you are currently holding. Sore, meaning that, is used to identify anything just outside of arm's reach. Are, meaning that, over there, is used to identify anything far in the distance. Got it? And now that we're all clear on that, before moving on to the next lesson, your goal should be to memorize all the vocabulary demonstrated within this introduction video. Now to help you out with this, I suggest downloading the provided Japan worksheet, link provided below, and taking the time to note these down while identifying your daily triggers of when you can actually use them. For example, you could write down, every day when I brush my teeth, I will say, kore is my toothbrush. Now there's no harm in mixing these terms with English for now, as long as you're getting your daily practice in with these specific keywords, that's all that matters. In the next lesson of this series, we're going to begin using these terms to begin forming a basic statement in Japanese. Now the more familiar you are with the vocabulary from this lesson, the more you'll be able to focus on the things like grammar coming up in the next one, such as the particle wa and the sentence ender des. But more on that in the next video. However, I do suggest before moving on that you check out the written article for this lesson to review everything covered here to ensure that you're fully prepared to continue. You can find a link to that in the description below. Now if you enjoyed this lesson or found it helpful, we would greatly appreciate it if you would like this video, share this series, and definitely subscribe to this channel so you won't miss out on any future lessons. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, go ahead and leave us a comment below and we would be happy to help you out even further, or just hear from you. Arigatou gozaimasu for watching this lesson, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.